What's up, Reefers? Welcome to Alex Poor Corals. This is Alex Wilson, and this is my video log where you can learn from my mistakes. So come check it out. All right, guys. So here's a shot of another day of this uh, dinoflagellate situation here. Brown netting, brown slime. That's right. I have the lights down to just 20% intensity, and so yeah, this I got this brown, dismothering toxic slime algae or a shot of it not as bad now but you know i still stirred the sand up as best as i could yesterday i hit the glass as well and it's back but the thing is getting a little better i believe not quite as bad on the clams and on everything so i think everything's starting to get a little bit better here there's the green slime Mike the green slimer right here and he's definitely a little bit closed up but yeah I think he should be fine bounce should bounce back nicely bubbles are looking good so let's check out the acanthophilia always doing good shot of the bubbles and uh, Ganyopora is still mostly closed up except for this red one red one's barely starting to come back there as well as the Duncan so right yellow tang, we're getting, we got all this stuff. We got brown slime nightmare over here. Dino flagellates absolutely everywhere. We got dino flagellates all on his nose, all on his face, all on his tail, and what's going on over here? We had dino flagellates over here, all on the helio fungi all around there, just bad. But now it's definitely gotten much better. Pollux extension, it's coming back nicely. Right, I can't argue with that. Let's come around here, see if we can get a shot of the rest of the guys over here. I got the, got my squamosa clam. There it is, doing all right. And let's check out the Christmas tree warm rock with the variety. Yet not as bad as it was. And uh, yeah, well, I had everything up off of the sand over the gravel right here. So I can uh, easily stir it up really quick and uh, and have everything out of the way for me a little bit. And so yeah, there's the other clam over there, and the other little uh, clam hammock, and the the purple ones over there. So yeah, it should be okay. Just you know, once the brown slime is gone, I'll be bringing up the lights back up to the intensities for at least for these, especially for these clams and for the acropora. Blastomusa right here, gotta love it. Kryptonite candy cane, gotta love it as well. So, elegance coral, getting this even better pop extension than before. So let's check out over here, we got the mushrooms. Definitely see with the less light intention, intense. Yellow Tang, we go there, we're over here talking mushrooms, and all I get is Yellow Tang over here. Getting in the way, crazy Yellow Tang. Anyway, we're talking about these, uh, Purple mushrooms right here. See, they're all lifted up under the less light, less light intensity. So all lifted up as well as the orange rhodactis over there. And so, and the hammer and the fox spawn looking just slightly better. So yep, yeah, that's it. Fingers crossed on that, guys. But we'll see what happens going forward over here just hoping that it's going to disappear completely just got to be patient hopefully you know for the organics dissolved organics i believe is causing that way from the breakdown or for your microfauna that eats that stuff to catch up with them right you'll think you just got to be patient the microfauna is going to catch right up with what with eating all of the browns and the greens in here absolutely crazy crazy talk we got so much browns in here we got dino flag. Look at these dino flagellates all on his nose, all on his face. All right, you okay about that? That dino flagellus is toxic. Are you sure it's not toxic, the little things? We better check this out, dude. All right, we gotta see. You got any problems? No, you're cool. I guess he's cool. No problems with the dino flagellates. I think he might have eaten, eaten. I don't know how much of the dino flagellates. It seemed like he was brushing it off everywhere, trying to get to the algae underneath it or whatever. So he must have consumed some of it. Okay, wait, dude. Come over here. Are you still cool? Yeah, he's looking normal. Yep. All right. I think we're good there. 
Got the Ganyu Pora starting to come back right there. All right, so let's check out the main, the 20 gallon coral quarantine system. That's right, I got a 20 gallon quarantine system. If you've been watching on the channel, you know that. Here it is. I got just doing the two and a half months to be sure they don't get any velvet coming in through the new corals, new clams, new live rock, or what have you, put them through a two and a half month long quarantine. That's right, it's a long time, and you really gotta have a quarantine system that can really support, you know, have, you know, really good system uh, to be able to keep the corals alive, you know, for such a long time. It's like a permanent amount of time, because by, you know, if it's just, not just like a week quarantine, right, you know, have it in a, you know, a, a real simple system, for just a week but you know a full two and a half months yeah you got to make sure that everything hopefully you know does uh, as well as it you know is it should it's a whole system i got the, you know just like the approaching skimmer on here i got my fans heater light i got my ink bird controller system and uh, but that said you know what i want to do is upgrade it to a 400 gallon um, display aquarium that's right that way I can just have an excuse to get a taller display and a whole nother aquarium yay it's so fun so I'm gonna eventually do that but meanwhile just stuck with this uh, small 20 gallon aquarium so just gonna try to keep everything alive and hopefully they can just do as good as they can do so let's, let's check out and see if, if Acropora here are still alive what do we got here this is the Hiding on Flora. And I moved them up here just temporarily. I think I'm going to put them back in. It's probably getting a little bit too much light for it right here. Move it back a little bit. Just find another spot with a little bit more shade. But all the aquapores up here are doing better than they were. So they're still alive. I got this. This is the nuclear green Millie. Then I got the Fox Flame right there. Then I got these that green Millie pour. What is, oh, I got this. this is the Green Bali Slimer right here from Abacoriphoria. Still alive, but it's, you know, it's lost the green color on its base. Turned into, you know, brown, browned out on me to a light brown, but the poles are still green. Tip is still green, so maybe just it might recover, given enough time, in good condition. So hopefully. And we got the Rainbow Millie Pore right there. Then we got the Princess Peach. And then we got the rainbows, two rainbow splices, as well as the home record crazy polyp extension. And the Walt, oh, Walt, this is the yeah, Walt Disney right there. And so, yeah, the rainbow splice, that one right here is looking uh, pretty good right here, especially with it's got some nice base right here going all around the plug right there, some really nice growth. So that certainly will give it a good, a good, uh, a, a good amount right there to get going, hopefully. And that one's just Bennett's yellow tort right there, as well as the pearlberry. Definitely lightened up on me though, so oh, that one could be on the way out. I don't know, but hopefully it'll live. And our purple corsia. That's right. I got three. Got one right there. One over there, it's also purple and gold, and then the one on the back right, also purple and gold on his clam hammock, just hanging out like crazy, just sick and just like the real smallest part of him just stuck onto the very edge of the clam hammock, and he hangs it off like some kind of just hanging off really weird, like three fourths of the clam is uh, hanging off of the clam hammock. It's a little rock right there, but I guess that's why they call it a hammock. So what else do we got? We got um, got these. Uh, I think that's just supposed to be the some real small frags right here. This one is the shortcake. Then I got the Oregon blue tort right here, but it's probably gonna die. It's got a little bit of pulpy right here, but the whole back of it's dead. So be surprised if it made it. But in the back right here, I got the. It's at the. Uh, I can't remember. We've got the oh yeah, stylo, purple stylo forum, blueberry stylo four. Got the 
We got the pink, the orange Digitata right there. And let's see what else we got. Oh yeah, Key Lime Pie right there. And this one is the Pink Fuego. As well as the Yellow Tips right there. And Elmo's Revenge right there. It's like a red stag. It wasn't in front. I moved it towards the back. And then this Firecracker table right here from Ava Coral before That one's doing good. And what do I got? Oh yeah, Christmas Mirabus right here. Still lightened up. Still alive. Can't believe it. I thought it was going to be dead by now for sure. But to the right here we got the Firecracker. Nice purple. And the Radical Stag there. And green one right here. This one is the Rainbow Loom. In the back behind you got the rainbow. So tripping out that this rainbow certainly is I had some brighter some dark some lighter colors on it so now it turned a little darker on me and it's got some green tips so it's definitely interesting and so this one right there that one is the the purple uh purple or blue bolly slimer they were calling them and then I got the Garf Bonza in the back right there and that was supposed to be one of the hardier ones. Let's check this side out. So let's check got this. It's got the bird's nest right here. And certainly has a little bit of dye back right there from the all of the, the dino flagell nightmare I had in here too. But it's all recovered. It's just some pieces right there. And or to toast to that, I think that one's going down. And um, let's see what else do we got. Raja Rampage and the uh, Samo Corals right here. Turbinaria, Micro Musa, Green Micro Musa, Special Parites in the back. Still alive. Yep. All right, guys. Well, just a quick update on the system but check back for the next update see what's going on with the dinoflagellate brown slime nightmare is everything all dead well what happens if we start increasing the lighting alright guys happy reefing bye